Hi, it's uh, Nick from Digital Yacht, and today we're going to look at the range of AIS antennas that we have for use with transponders and receivers. Now, AIS uses VHF frequencies to send and receive data, but AIS transmissions are at the higher end of the marine VHF band on 162 megahertz, uh, as opposed to normal VHF voice transmissions at 156 megahertz. So it makes sense that when you're buying an antenna for your transponder or receiver, that you buy an AIS tuned antenna. And this is a range of antennas that we've got here. They're all optimized for AIS transmissions. Now the other option, of course, is that you could use one of our VHF antenna splitters, which share the VHF antenna with both the VHF and with the AIS transponder. Now these are complex bits of kit. It's a very sophisticated, patented technology that we use. Um, they're a good option and they work extremely well, but they are expensive. And many people believe that a dedicated antenna is actually the best solution. So let's take a look at what we've got available. First up is our GV30. This is actually a combination GPS and VHF antenna. So it replaces the standard GPS antenna that we supply with our transponders, uh, but also has a VHF element in it. Two cables come out, ready for connection directly to our transponder. Next up is our QMAX antenna, which is a small portable antenna, which we actually ship as standard with our Nomad portable transponder. Again, it's a, it's a helical type stub antenna, but it's got a, a sucker cup base that allows temporary mounting. Comes with a 12 foot cable, ready with the connector, ready to go straight onto the transponder, and it's ideal as a portable type solution. Now, lots of sailboats uh, are worried about having to put the antenna at the top of the mast, and this is a great solution for sailboats. It's called the HA156. It's optimized for AIS frequencies, and it's a small 25 centimeter helical antenna that can be simply mounted on the push pit rail. Many people also worry about range when you're mounting an antenna down low. Clearly that has an impact on VHF transmissions, but typically you'll find with an antenna mounted on the push pit rail, you get a range of about 10 miles. And when you remember that all AIS collisions happen at zero feet, uh, 10 miles range is normally more than acceptable for AIS. Next up is our KS30. This is a one meter uh, AIS tuned antenna that ships with five meters of cable, ideal for use on uh, sports boats or mounting on a radar arch. It comes with a one inch threaded base. Uh, the, the actual mount isn't included as standard. There's a wide variety of one inch mounts available. Have a look at our website and you'll see all the different types. This one's a, a plastic ratchet mount. Uh, there's also uh, stainless steel mounts and rail mounts as well that allow you to mount on a push pit rail. So if you've got room on a sailboat and you want slightly better performance than a helical type antenna, pop this on there with a rail mount bracket and that's a perfect solution. Finally, for commercial vessels, we've got our flagship um, AIS antenna product, the CX4A. This is a four foot antenna with four dBi gain, so fantastic performance. And it also comes with a option for a, a heavy duty stainless steel mount uh, using the one and a quarter inch standard. There's actually a dedicated video on this antenna available on our website. Uh, it's called the CX4. So thanks very much for listening. All the details are on our website and uh, these are optimized solutions for AIS transponders.